Hi, my name is Eric Ludwig. I'm a solution architect and the cloud team lead with CDW's aggregation services. Well, they're the obvious, right? People who are on the coasts, people who are along a fault line, uh, people who are in the tornado alley, as an example, they're all vulnerable. But let's take people who are not, Minnesota, for example, or perhaps the desert southwest. The most common disasters that we see are local. There's a fire, there's a flood, their data center sits under a water main that could burst. I mean, let's take, for example, the meltdown on the East Coast power grid. It affected the entire eastern half of the United States for multiple days. If you don't have a disaster recovery plan or you're not in the business of business continuity, at a minimum, customers need to have their, their archive and, and a data backup. And traditionally, the data backup and the archive process was you basically took your data to tape, perhaps from disk, perhaps from disk to disk to tape, and ultimately you have a third party that comes out, picks up your tapes, puts them in a vault, and keeps them safe. However, we've seen a paradigm shift with cloud computing and storage in the cloud. And effectively, it allows customers to take their data instead of to a tape, rather they have it mounted, they have it available anywhere there's a public internet connection, and they can apply whatever security standards that they need. So it increases the time to restore, it decreases the cost, it doesn't require uh, hardware licensing, and we feel that it's something that customers really ought to be taking a look at.